morning guys, what's going on? Welcome to the second episode of the off season series. Right now I'm just on my computer sending myself some stuff for Instagram so I can throw it up today. Um, I'm having the same breakfast that I had in the last video, super exciting stuff. Two bananas and two Greek yogurts. I just like having this before I go work out and train. It just sits well in my stomach and I feel like it's enough carbs and protein where it's like gonna be good pre-workout, but it doesn't. it's not feeling heavy in my stomach. And I'm just having a cup of coffee with a little bit of cream and we'll probably leave here in like 10 minutes or so. My family's going down, they're gonna go work out. I'm just gonna get a really good training session, which I'm actually gonna partly use something from the Elite 90, but I'm gonna eat this, get all ready, and I'll probably see you guys down the field. So this is actually me after the training session right now. I just kind of want to talk about what happened. Uh, it was pretty cool, but I just went down to Lincoln thinking I was going to do a normal training session by myself. I had it kind of all planned out. I wanted to work on some crossing, some dribbling, just the normal stuff. But when I got there, I actually saw this other guy training out in the uh, corner of the field, like at a wall. He was practicing uh, doing some wall passes, some wall juggling, like typical stuff like that. And you know, nothing, nothing crazy about that, but like, almost immediately you could just tell that he was quality you know it's just like you can tell within five to ten seconds from seeing somebody juggle with a wall or pass just the way their body moves and everything if they're you know an amateur level player like a semi-pro type player or professional player and immediately i was like wow he's you know really technical he's skilled he's, he's probably a pro so i put on my boots i got all ready and i warmed up and then i went over to him and just introduced myself i was like hey i'm matt and he's like hey i'm foster and almost immediately i was like oh i know it foster langsdorf because like you know he's from oregon i have I Actually, he even played against him this year when he was playing with the Timbers too, but he was actually on a first team contract with the Portland Timbers this year. So uh, we talked, I was like, oh yeah, Foster Langsdorf. And um, we kind of just got to talking about the year. And then uh, I was asking him what he was doing today. And he kind of asked me like what my session was looking like today. And then he's just like, hey, can I join in with you? And I was like, yeah, for sure. And it was, it worked out perfectly because he's a striker and I'm like a fullback and I wanted to work on crossing today and he wanted to work on some finishing. So yeah, we, we did a full training session together and it went really well. Uh, so anyway, that's the, the other person you'll see in the training session today. I did just want to throw the footage out there and everybody be like, well, who's this, who's this other guy? So it's Foster Langsdorf, a uh, great guy, great player. So, and also I was a little distracted talking to Foster. I, I forgot to set up the right camera and I was setting up my camera that I used to film for Instagram content. So the first drill is kind of like, it's vertical, sorry. But then after that, it's all good. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, you never know. It's just like those things are so fickle. Yeah. I know you have a call one day or you think it's a good setup and all of a sudden it backs yeah, off. I got lonely over there because it's like just there for I was there for Germany for 10 months just straight just yeah. it was good it was a good experience Like I said, I wanted to work on crossing and Foster wanted to work on finishing. So the next drill that we did, I just really stood out by the 18 yard box with all of the balls. I tapped the ball down the sideline and I whipped in a cross into Foster for him to finish.
next drill you're about to see is almost the exact same thing. The only difference is I did a little step over, pushed the ball down the line, and then hit the cross. Next drill is another crossing drill, but Foster started the balls this time. He would ping out a ball to me to the side. I would trap the ball down, bring it towards the end line, and then hit that cut back cross where it skims across the ground back to like the top of the 18 yard box and Foster would finish it. The next three drills we did were all about first touch and kind of juggling. And so we started about six yards apart from each other. We put three minutes on the clock and we just try to keep the ball up the entire three minutes while doing one touch back and forth. And again, we're six yards apart. And then the next drill, we go 12 yards apart where we use two touches. And then we go 18 yards apart where we get unlimited amount of touches. So here's the two touch juggling from 12 yards apart.
here's the 18 yard distance struggling with unlimited touches. So just finished the training session. It was, it was awesome to train with Foster. I'll probably train with him um, more while I'm in Portland. It's always so much better to train with other pros than just to go out and train by yourself because you can just do so many other things. You can do juggling, like that one-touch juggling game. You can cross into somebody. It's, it, and the pr there's more pressure to not mess up because you want to you know, um, play well in front of the, the other guy. So it's always way better. So for lunch, I'm just reheating what I had for dinner last night, which is just kind of like, my mom made this, it's like a, a chicken with some sort of weird sauce, but it's really good. And then just some sweet potatoes, and then I'll probably have some fruit or something on the side with that as well. So that's lunch, I'm gonna make this. It's 11 o'clock, and I think we're heading, my brother and I are heading back down to work out around like two. So I got like three hours to work, um, kind of rest up drink some water and just hang out. But I'm really excited because the first episode of the off season series comes out in 50 minutes. And so I always get excited just to just see the feedback and to, um, just, you know, to see what the questions you guys ask because I am gonna answer one of the questions from the last video in this video. So again, be sure to comment a question below in this comment section and I'll answer it in the next video. I wanna keep this going, the continuous uh, Q and A. So the first episode of the off-season series went live. It's going really, really well. I'm really happy with the feedback. All of you guys seem to really be enjoying it and um, the video's just doing really well. Anyway, I kind of read through the comments and I want to do the continuous Q&A portion of this. And it's really funny that I trained with Foster Langsdorf, who's from the MLS for the Portland Timbers. And I think that I got asked a ton about if I see myself in the MLS in the near future. This one as well, I see you have a great physique, tons of experience and very good overall soccer player. What do you need to play at the higher level such as the MLS? Is MLS still a goal for you and how possible is it? So yeah, a lot of you guys are curious about that. I've made a couple of videos in the past about it before, but my answer is kind of similar. If you want to see a really in-depth answer, you can go back to one of those. Um, but real short, yeah, I it, it's so hard because it's hard to say this without sounding um, cocky or arrogant, but you, I really do think that, you know, if I was thrown into an MLS team or thrown into an MLS game, that I could perform and I could hold my ground in there. Um, I really think that the USL and the MLS, although the MLS definitely is a higher level, I do think the level is a lot closer than um, many people think. And obviously there's amazing, amazing players, but to make that jump up from each, you know, each division up and up and up, it's, it's very, very close. So I really do think, you know, that I could make the baby step up to the MLS. Unfortunately, it's, you know, as I've talked about before, the pro game, and it's, it's more about being able to get that opportunity than it is like, are you just good enough for that opportunity? Like for example, for me to really get that opportunity, I would need to absolutely kill it in the USL for a season. I would need to get like 10 plus assists, play every single game, USL championship, team of the week, as well as having my agent have some sort of connection or opportunity for me lined up with an MLS team that following year. So a lot of things need to go right. Wherever I play next year, that team really needs to perform. I really need to perform. I need to really have the stats to back it up. And then I need to have the opportunity actually lined up. So uh, it's it's slim. It's like, I'm not gonna like front, like it's, it's gonna be really slim and very, very difficult. And even in the USL championship, very, very, very few players get even the chance to go up to the MLS. And those that do get the chance to go up to the MLS usually don't even become MLS starters. They usually bounce back to the USL, which is, it's kind of, um, 
I don't want to say it's like disheartening, but it's just uh, just a fact. You know, it's it's tough. It's very very challenging. There's very few job opportunities, and everybody's trying to do that. But is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. Everything's you know, it's oh, a cliche, but anything is possible, especially when I'm already at the USL Championship. Um, and have been for a few years. Okay guys, so that's it for the continuous Q&A for this video. Again, really, really good questions. There's honestly about four or five other ones I really wanted to answer even in this video. Um, but ask them again in this one or ask them in the next one. Just keep on asking or asking new questions or whatever and we will keep this uh, continuous Q&A rolling. Um, so about to leave with my brother right now and this is something I've done in the past a lot and I've kind of like started back up and I don't know if it's like a good thing but I just want to be transparent with you guys to share everything but I have started again taking um, pre-workout just because it, honestly I do get better workouts when I take pre-workout it's just caffeine and some beta alanine which I really like um, now uh, this is always hard because it, I have done a lot of research on pre-workouts and caffeine in general and caffeine's not good to have, especially in high doses when you're under the age of 18. It actually can have a lot of development issues. Um, so if you're under the age of 18, don't even think about doing this stuff. And it's also, it's, it's like addictive. Like once you start having, working out, it's like drinking coffee in the morning. Once you drink coffee in the morning, you can't wake up without coffee in the morning. Um, and I think as you get older and older and you're doing more and more intense sessions and as you really know your body and you, uh, just develop everything. I think, you know, the, the studies from what I've seen, the short-term studies of pre-workout has been pretty safe. Now there hasn't been any long-term studies of pre-workout, so I could be killing myself. <laughs> My mom's so happy behind the camera right now. But, um, but yeah, honestly, I do it because I get better workouts and I just want to share that with you guys. So about to leave here. It's going to be an upper body. It's going to be a session in the, the same footballer's physique, same program that I said, that power session. And uh, yeah, I'll just take you guys along and show you the workout. Use the filter water. So are you gonna do my workout with me today? Yeah. You are? We'll see. The whole workout? <laughs> we'll see. I don't it's remember straight, what it was. This workout. I'm not doing the uh, what's it called? The throw the medicine ball up the wall thing. Is there even a good wall on the Mac that you can throw it on? That's why I don't want to do it. It's yeah. just disruptive. Okay, well, we can skip that one. We'll do med ball slams on the ground. How about that? That's different. Yeah, well, we'll figure it I'm out. I'm not doing that. Um, but Anything that they do in a CrossFit gym, I'm not going to do. <laughs> Mike is very... What would you... You don't even... What do you like to work out? Powerlifting style? Yeah. yeah, so this... I want to do, obviously, a more soccer-specific workout that I made for the footballer's physique. So Mike will do some of it. Maybe all of it. Maybe I can talk him and do all of it. I'm not doing anything with a ball. I'm not like medicine ball. ball? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we can, we can. What's it called? Uh, modify it yeah. so it's better. All right, yeah. let's go. Not too much Bosu ball and medicine ball <laughs> stuff. So. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, I think it's a good mix. I like that power program a lot. And but especially today was an upper body day with a little bit of lower body. But uh, but yeah. So right now, my brother, my family, everybody's gonna head out to dinner. We're going to Thirsty Lion. Is that Thirsty yep. Lion? Yep. So I think it's just like a brewery or something, um, which should be pretty cool. But we're headed there right now. So catch you guys there. Catch you on the flip side. Catch you on, <laughs> catch you on the flippity flop.
I just got home from uh, Thirsty Lion. It was really good. I got a big burger. I really was craving it, so it was really good. Um, it's about like nine o'clock at night. I'm about to go to bed. I'm tired, and then um, tomorrow I'm taking just completely off. So just working, hanging out on the couch, hanging out with my family, but no workouts, no training, nothing. Um, just listening to the body. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one, all that good stuff. Oh, uh, ask a question in the comment section for the next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys, peace.